cat here, your favorite gender reveal file. And I've got another fun tag for you today. Because I was tagged by the awesome Matthew, the man with the hat who reads. And I will tag his channel down below. Or, well, link it. <laughs> and see, I am so annoyed tag. Which, I had to have some fun with that. Hakuna Matata. Which, if y'all have watched Lion King, you know what that means. It means no worries. And I won't make y'all suffer through my singing that whole song. <laughs> I, I gotta have a little fun with this. Yeah, I'm supposed to be annoyed. I'm gonna be in a good mood, because why not? Unless some of the stuff is just truly annoying. So, let's get into the prompts, shall we? First one is, do publishers ever do things that you find annoying? Share an example. Yes, yes, they freaking do. And I honestly, I was just talking about this with Matthew about this. The different freaking sizes. Like, why are paperbacks like three, four different sizes? We don't all have hardback money. Do you want us to read your books? Or do you want us to make sure they're all the same freaking size? Because they're annoying on the shelves. When it's the same series next to each other. And if they're not hardbacks, they don't freaking match. Y'all need to sit down, talk, and go, this is the size we're going to make it. And then refund us so we can buy new books that all freaking match. Stop making different ones. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that bugs the crap out of me. Have you ever been annoyed by a spoiler? Even something as simple as someone else telling you there's a great twist? Probably not. There's nothing that comes to mind. Like, don't tell me what the ending is. Dude, I've never seen it. Thanks. But generally, like, okay, I kind of want to, you know, know what I'm getting into. Like, is it fast? Is it slow? Does it start off good and you're going to piss off because the ending is terrible? It led up to something and you didn't get it? Because I have had that happen in a book and... I wish somebody had told me we were going to spend 300 pages building up to this is what we're going for. And then gone, ha ha, just kidding. Yeah, we're not really doing what the whole premise of the book was. Like, I kind of would be okay with somebody spoiling that because then I'm not going to read that book. Instead, what happened was, hey, it made my worst book of the year list. Have you ever been annoyed by what you discovered in a little free library, a book sale, or a used bookstore? Tell us what you found and why it was so annoying. Well, I've never actually come across a little free library. So, that one goes right out the window. A book sale or used bookstore? Well, slightly. But that's kind of on me because it's usually, like, I'm not going to sit there and go, ooh, let me check every single page. Or, you know, hey, I bought it online, I didn't know. So, it is kind of annoying when you get a used book and it's like, these pages are like bent or, you know, it's not even necessarily used, but every now and then you'll get a book where, you know, I bought them brand new. And it's like, yeah, y'all kind of ran out of ink and a couple of these pages are a little bit light. But that's not necessarily used. That's, what the heck were y'all doing? Bad publishers. But, eh, yeah, I think that's the worst ever found is like, all right. This is a very well-loved book. It's got water spots and bit pages. When it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there's a novella in the middle of the collection? No. That's a freaking bonus. I get a longer story than I was expecting. I love that. <laughs> Deckled edges. Beautiful or annoying? I didn't even know what those were until this started going around. Like I'd seen them, but I didn't know what those were called. Just... Hey, that's what old books do. I really don't care about them one way or the other. <laughs> do people's annotations in a used book or library book annoy you? And are you okay with it? Thankfully, I've only come across that like maybe once that comes to mind. And it is a little annoying. But I wouldn't exactly call it annotated. It's like they underlined two names and left their post-it note in there where like they were trying to solve the murder mystery so they're like oh these are my clues oops i got too lazy so that's kind of like i don't like annotating my own books i definitely don't want them bought that way but yeah underline one word it didn't really distract me not the only time i've ever come across it like ebooks all the way i will highlight all of my that made me laugh that is what that is not how that works you idiot Hey, I've never heard that word before. Let me highlight that one so it can be on my Goodreads going, oh yeah, you need to learn this word. 
but physic books? Mm -mm. No, can't do it. If there's a series or collection of certain of a certain kind of books, like an imprint, and changes are made, are you annoyed or okay with it? If yes, give us an example. If there's a series or a collection of certain kind of books. I, yeah, we're going to circle back because I, I, I'm drawing a blank there. Do the decisions of characters in a novel ever annoy you? Share the book and what decision you found annoying. This is what I get for always going off the cuff because um, I guess not because nothing is really jumping to mind of what are you thinking, you idiot? I'm sure there has been where you people are stupid and I hope you die in this book. But nothing specific is coming to mind of, yep, that one. I can think of ones where they're kind of dumb, like, really? You expect us to believe that? <laughs> but that's not the character decision. That's just, like, y'all are taking a little too much liberty with this. <laughs> but, hmm... <laughs> I guess it, I don't find it that annoying if, you know, maybe when I do my end year, I'll go back and, oh yeah, this book made me mad. Kind of. But I guess it must not annoy me that much if nothing is sticking in my head. Are you ever annoyed with how uh, by how somebody organizes their books? No. If they come and try to organize my books for me, I might get annoyed with them. I know where everything is. Except for all my cube bear shelf, because that's just where can I fit it. <laughs> but I, I don't necessarily understand it when people go, we're not going to do it by color or by size. How, how do you find the book that you want? <laughs> I care. Like, oh, it was the blue one. It's the third. How, what? I, I don't know how it works. That is definitely not how I organize mine. But hey, it's your shelf. You're the one that has to look at it and be able to find what you want to read on it. So. You do you, boo. Just don't mess with my books. I got them organized the way I want. Until I get more books and, like, mostly through my TBR pile. And then it's all getting rearranged to mix those in. <laughs> Share some, something bookish that you find annoying. We're going to go with the first one. When you got four different sizes of freaking paperbacks in the same series. Mm. Or when the other things, like, if you're going to change how the cover style is, Change it on all of them and go, all right, this is the theme of this book. This is the theme of this book. Don't go, this is the style we're going of artwork and font and whatnot that we're going with. And then change it halfway through. Mm, I want them to look the freaking same so you know they're part of the series. Or make them all match the you know, theme of that particular book. Like, I would be cool with, like, James Rollins. Every single book has a completely different look. Because, yeah, it's the same group of people. But each book has a whole different thing going on. But, like, what they did with the, uh, Matthew Riley, that Jack West Jr. series. Oh, they was ticking me off. Like, I got the first five of them where that's exactly what they did. It was just, here, the graphics fill up, you know, the whole thing. And then we put the title over it and all it's the same. And then I could not find the last two freaking books to save my life. I finally ended up getting them on hardback years later. But they reprinted all of them. To where they're just this, like, white background with a little sliver of color. There is no, like, the other two, there is no, oh, well, you just didn't buy that time. No, it does not exist anywhere that I could find. Why the heck did you do that? And they did that from Christopher Moore books, too. Like, his name is written in this kind of font on the spine. And then you just change it. Your butthead's bad publishers. Bad. So yeah, I guess it's just kind of like the looks of books that mostly tick me off. But then, yeah, I could fix this by buying hardback, but I work for a living. And I want to get the most bang for you know, my buck, which means more books. So I'm going paperback, and I'm just going to pretend that, that doesn't exist. And I'm going to read the book one at a time, so I'm not looking at it next to its friend that it doesn't match. <laughs> yep, we're, we're going to go with that. And Hakuna Matata. <laughs> And tag some friends. Um, honestly, I've seen this floated around so many times by the time I've gotten to this. I'm not sure who hasn't done it yet. So I'm going to go with Randy Ray. Because I'm pretty sure he's well behind on tags. 
in. I don't think Adriana has done this yet. But basically, if you see this and you want to do it and you haven't yet, you're tagged. Go for it. What annoys you? <laughs> Bye. See you soon. Happy reading.